This video is on crypto mining with the Alienware R11 and Alienware M17 R4. Some of you have asked me to make a video on how to mine cryptocurrencies. So that's what we'll do in this video. For the last several weeks, I've been using the Alienware R11 PC strictly for mining. It has a RTX 3080 graphics card in it, and it has been running well. The temps always stay in the green, and it has a hash rate of about 89 mega hash. That's what determines how much you make mining. Right now it shows that it's generating about $11 a day. That number fluctuates, and lately it has been higher than that. Looking at the history, it shows that it is generating about $13 a day. In the weekly history, it's a little higher because this also includes the occasional mining using the laptop. Some of you might be saying that's a little low for a 3080. True, it is. It can definitely do 100 mega hash, but then the fans run at 100%, and I don't want to stress the PC that much. I set the optimization to light and the only other change I made is to set the thermals to performance in the Alienware command center. What this does is increase the fan speed of the front and top fans slightly. On balanced thermals these numbers are about 30% less. Now the Alienware M17 R4 is my everyday computer that I use for everything. I do gaming, trading, programming, content consumption, editing. I also use the Oculus Quest 2 with it wirelessly to play VR games. It runs perfectly. The desktop in the other room does perform much better, but I prefer laptops. That's a personal thing. I know some prefer desktops over laptops, especially for gaming. I just feel more immersed in the game when using a laptop. Anyway, this video is on mining. I deleted the mining program from this laptop so we can set it up together. First, Google the word NiceHash. Once you're in, set up your account. Mine is set up already since I have the Alienware R11 desktop mining on it. Click the button for downloading the miner. Click this top one that says Quick Miner. Accept and click the button. Click where it says download installer here. This will download the program. Click it to install it. This is where you connect it to your NiceHash account, the mining address. X out of this page, then click mining address here. This is your mining wallet address. Click copy.
Go back to this window and delete these words. Then paste the address that you copied. Control V is paste. This window will appear where you can name your rig. I'll call mine 3070 laptop. Then click the OK button. Here it's making sure you know how to access the mining info. Click on this button on top here and it will take you to this page. To get to this screen, click on the mining number on top. I'm already here so don't need to do that. Now the other thing you want to do if you're running on a laptop is disconnect the external monitors. You want the laptop to run as efficiently as possible. The second thing you want to do is get a cooling pad. I've had this one for years and have had no reason to get something newer. It was about $25 I think. Make sure you plug it in so the fans are running. They do make some now that deliver filtered air to the laptop. If I did upgrade the cooling pad that's what I would get, even if it is a little pricier. Now it takes a few minutes for these numbers to stabilize. This Alienware M17R4 has a 3070 and I get a consistent 52 mega hash from it. Make sure the temperature numbers are all in the green. If not, you need to do something about the thermals. The cooling pad will make the biggest difference that I've noticed. Click on this button on top here and it will take you to this page. Then click withdrawal here. You will be taken to this screen. Before you could withdraw to your Coinbase account for no fees, but that option is not available currently. It might come back later. We'll see. So for now, you have to manually add your wallet address. Click this pull down here and Add new wallet address. If you have Coinbase, you get this from the send receive option on your Coinbase. If you have a different wallet, online or a hard wallet for crypto, just use the address you use to receive funds. I have a Trezor wallet also, but I haven't set it up yet. I will soon. So put that address here. I normally withdraw once the nice hash balance reaches $100, but you can do your withdrawals anytime. It's getting closer to what it should be now. On this M17R4, I haven't done anything to the thermals. The fans are already running at about 80%. Mining should still be lucrative until July of 2022, so another year. Then Ethereum mining will end and other changes will occur. So you can definitely pay off your gaming PC from mining. That's it for this video. Take care.